The Iraqi Most Wanted deck of cards clearly stands as one of the most significant pieces of DI's history and heritage. So Iraqi freedom in 2003 was the U.S. intervention in Iraq. One of the problems that we had was identifying all of the leaders of the regime. Their names were difficult to pronounce. DIA developed a unique thought process in terms of being able to identify them more clearly to the average soldier and person on the ground, which was to use them in a deck of cards. Five Army reservists originally came up with the idea of using playing cards. The soldiers out in the field are not going to look at yet another manual. So they needed to do something creative and unique, and that's how the cards came about. So they went downstairs to our printing office. Here are the cards, yes. So this was just something to, say, to make us think, hmm, playing cards, that's a little different. This person is the Iraqi Armed Force Chief of Staff. We had the Jokers, who had the Iraqi military ranks on them, right? These are awesome. And of course, Saddam Hussein, our ace of spades. But we didn't know that they were gonna blow up and be big as they were. We had no idea. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The campaign is in its 22nd day since the entry of coalition forces into Iraq. On April 11th, 2003, Brigadier General Vincent Brooks, for the first time, showed the deck of cards. And this deck of cards is one example of what we provide. He shows this deck of cards and he's just using it as a prop. This wasn't really well known within DI leadership that it had proliferated to the degree that it would be shown in a worldwide audience. This is the famous pack of cards. One of the most wanted terrorists in the world is dead. Number two, the king of clubs in the US military's deck of Iraqi fugitives. As of 2015, every single one of the Iraqi 55 most wanted had been killed or captured, the King of Clubs being the final individual. And in this case, by getting the cards out to the warfighters, we were able to get the right information and the right format to the right people on the ground to get the job done. This is it. 